Fallout has been my favorite video game series for about 15 years. I still remember taking several days off of work when Fallout 4 came out in 2015. Even though Fallout 4 had its disappointments and Fallout 76 wasn't something I enjoyed, I still loved the series overall. When a TV series for Fallout was announced, I should have felt real excitement over the announcement. However, I felt rather pessimistic at the announcement. This was partially due to Fallout's decline over the years, but what really made me nervous was that Amazon was making this series. After what happened with Rings of Power, I was worried that Amazon was going to make a Fallout series that wouldn't appeal to Fallout fans. Was I right to be skeptical? Yeah, I was. Overall, I didn't like the first season. There are a lot of problems with the writing. It makes me wonder how much research that these writers did when they wrote the script. Factions aren't acting like they do in the games. Events have the effects that they shouldn't have, and the tone of season one feels off. I'm not going to go into great detail about key plot points, and I'm going to try to avoid spoilers. That way I don't ruin the show if you want to watch it. And I also want to try to keep this fairly short. So I'm going to talk about three of the main issues that I have with the show. The first issue is the tone of the story. Fallout has had a serious tone with the occasional comic relief. Season 1 of Fallout tries to imitate that tone, but it injects copious amounts of campy humor into the script, and these two things really don't mix well. An example of this is in the first episode. There's a scene where raiders have made their way into the vault and are attacking the residents. In one scene, a pregnant woman sees her husband get killed, even though she is probably close to 9 months pregnant and has been stabbed in the eye with a fork, she picks up a gun and starts mowing down raiders in like a rage-filled moment. Moments like that kind of make it hard to take the show seriously. In all honesty, the show is at its best when it tries to keep a serious tone. And when it does that, there are parts that I actually enjoy, but more on that later. There's a YouTube video called Millennial Writing by Shredded Nerd that talked about this kind of writing in video games, and I think he did a good job discussing this type of writing. I'll put a link to his video in the description if you want to check it out. Other than the tone of the story, the biggest issue that I have with Season 1 of Fallout is its portrayal of the Brotherhood of Steel. For starters, there really shouldn't be a Brotherhood of Steel presence on the West Coast. The NCR had nearly wiped out the Brotherhood of Steel. And the West Coast Brotherhood of Steel chapters in the video games are very isolated, and they tend not to take well to outsiders. That's why the Brotherhood lost its war to the NCR. Despite the Brotherhood inflicting far more casualties, the Brotherhood couldn't replenish its numbers because of its unwillingness to recruit members outside the Brotherhood. But in Amazon's Fallout, they appear to take on recruits at will. And so it's quite strange to see the Brotherhood of Steel being the dominant military force on the West Coast, despite being nearly wiped out. The only explanation that I can give is that chapters from the East Coast made their way back West and reinvigorated the Brotherhood. But if that's the case, then where is Elder Arthur Maxon? He would have been the one in charge of the Brotherhood. Instead, it's just a bunch of generic old guys. And the last thing that bothers me about the Brotherhood of Steel is the way they act. There are moments where people will bow to knights and elders, and they will refer to ranking officers as lords. That's not how the Brotherhood of Steel acts in games. It's a modern military. They conduct themselves as ranking officers and military professionals, not medieval lords and serfs. I've never seen anyone in the Brotherhood of Steel bow to other members in any of the video games. Members will salute superior officers, but they don't bow. It's a small thing, but it's something that really bothers me. The third thing I hated is what happens with the NCR. The NCR is pretty much gone. Without saying who did it, someone dropped a nuclear bomb on Shady Sands, the capital of the NCR, and apparently that caused the NCR to die. Again, to anyone who's played the games, the NCR was made up of more than just shady sands. The NCR states and buffer zones made up most of California, so losing shady sands doesn't mean the end of the NCR. It's not like the NCR citizens will be like, well, shady sands is gone, well, back to the wasteland boys. Back in the pile, everyone! Even if the NCR lost a large portion of its military and economic capacity, it should still be able to contain its own borders, as well as maintain law and order. And honestly, Amazon shouldn't have put Season 1 of Fallout on the West Coast. If Amazon wanted a wasteland and a strong Brotherhood of Steel presence, why not put the setting on the East Coast? Maybe in North Carolina or Virginia. Those are areas that haven't really been covered all that much in the Fallout series. 
the writers could have came up with an emerging faction that challenges the plans of the secret evil faction in the show, and the secret evil faction could have destroyed this new faction. Unfortunately, this would have required passion and creativity, two things that seem to be in short supply at Amazon. Those three things are what bothered me the most about season one of Fallout, and there are other things that upset me, ranging from unnecessary conflicts to continuity errors. However, I'm not going to say that it was eight hours of pure torture. There were some parts I enjoyed. I would say that episode four was the highlight of the season. The episode involved the process of ghouls becoming feral, and you see several ghouls turn into feral ghouls in real time. Those scenes are well acted and pretty powerful. Seeing the humanity gradually leave someone as they become mindless killers was an effective method of storytelling. That episode also shows two people exploring a dead vault. There are dead bodies everywhere, it was dark, morbid, and it had me on the edge of my seat. I have expected someone in the dark to yell, Ha <laughs> ha Gary! Those scenes really had me invested in the show. I was curious about what vault Tech had done to these people, and the best part is that this scene wasn't interrupted by some cringy millennial writing. And another good thing I'll give the show is the cast. I think the show did a good job of recruiting actors for their respective roles. My favorite actor was probably Walton Goggins as Cooper Howard. I enjoyed seeing him as a pre-war actor, and as you learn more about him, you start to gain some sympathy for his character. I would also say that Ella Purnell did a good job as Lucy. I found Lucy to be an overall likable character, even if she was in over her head at times. You saw that she was a good person, and you really wanted to root for her. She wasn't the stone-cold girl boss I was expecting. I found her to be rather sweet and endearing. I'd also say Purnell did a good job of portraying the fish-out-of-water look that a vault dweller would have on the surface. And so, overall, I expect the show to get decent reviews. I think general audiences will enjoy the show. But I don't think that fans of the games will like it as much. I think that they'll start to notice a lot of the details that I saw, and that'll turn a lot of fans off. Did I like the show? No. Was the show as bad as I thought it was going to be? No. Could the show have been worse? abso frickin lootly And that is a victory in of itself. And, you know, another potential victory is that maybe this show will encourage more people to check out the games that I and so many other people enjoyed. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought of Season 1. Did you think it was good? Bad? Did it meet your expectations? Fail your expectations? Either way, I'd love to know what you guys think about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Later.